right, friends, let's go from looking crazy drinking tea to somewhat presentable. My nails are a mess in this video. We're just going to have to rock with it. And then I transform myself into looking somewhat normal and presentable. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I always start my foundation routine with a clean face. Right now I've been using the Cosmetics Benefit Clean Cleanser. I love this stuff. I will leave a link to it down below. Everything I've tried from this brand I really like, so definitely check it out. Next up, I'm gonna be using this H2O moisturizer. I believe it's more like a cream. I really like it, it's really refreshing. Even though I have oily skin, I always try to moisturize because if you don't moisturize, your skin will just become more oily. You need to put moisture back into the skin. Next up, I'm taking this Clinique moisturizer. I believe this came with a Sephora order. This is actually a sample size, but it's a very nice firming moisturizer. So if you're looking for a firming moisturizer, check the description bar. I'll leave a link to it down below. I never forget my sunscreen. I do this year round. I don't know why I don't see this in more people's tutorials. I always put sunscreen on. So I'm using the Clarins Anti-Pollution Sunscreen. Love this stuff. It does not give a white cast and it just soaks into the skin. Next up, I must prime. I have to prime. This is one of my favorite primers for oily skin. This is the Cover FX Mattifying Anti-Acne Primer. It has salicylic acid in it and it is great for oily skin. If you have not tried it, definitely need to. I always moisturize my lips before a tutorial. I don't know why, I just do. Next up, I'm gonna be using this Real Techniques Fluffy Brush. I love this brush, I'll leave a link to it down below. This is part of their Powder Blue collection. And I am going to powder before foundation. If you have oily skin, I highly recommend doing this. I'm using the Ben Eye um, powder. This will just help your makeup to last all day and it'll prevent you from becoming super oily throughout the day. I actually did a full video on when I put on powder before foundation and I check in with you throughout the day. I'll put a link to it on the screen right now and I'll leave a link to it down below. It really works. If you do this with primer, your foundation will not budge. So I couldn't decide on which foundation to use. These are two of my favorites, the Sephora Collection Foundation or the Revlon Colorstay. I went for the Sephora. I actually did a full review video Video on this too. I love this foundation. I don't know why more people aren't talking about it. It's the Sephora branded foundation. It's long wearing. It's, I would say it's full coverage. Yeah, it's definitely full coverage. It's comfortable. It, I just really love it. So I'll leave a link to it down below. Good stuff. I'm basically using all of my favorites in this video. This concealer is new to me, but I really like it. I found that people either love or hate this concealer. If you have oily skin and you're looking for a very high coverage concealer, you should definitely check this out. Like I just showed it to you, it does not move, it's not liquidy at all, it's very high coverage, very thick, but I love it because um, because I'm oily, my, sometimes my under eyes get very oily and this stuff just stays matte and it does not budge and it's very high coverage. So I like to pat that in with my fingers first and then I'm gonna take this another powder blue brush from Real Techniques. Um, I believe this is for like contouring or you can use it for blush, but I use it any way I want and I love it. It's just so soft, just feels so lush and luxe. Lush? No, luxe. It feels very luxurious. So I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder to blend that under the eyes. And then what I do is I take my foundation brush and I go around the edge of where I put that concealer. I got some extra concealer on my nose. I go around the edge to blend that in because people always ask me like, how do you make it look so blended? I like a very bright under eye look. So that's how I make it blended. I go back and forth with the the powder brush and the foundation brush, blending them in. If you see me looking away, I'm looking at the TV. I really need to turn the TV off when I'm filming because it very much distracts me. So I'm just blending back and forth with the powder brush and the foundation brush. Next, I'm gonna go into my Graftobian Cream Color Palette. I'm going to contour the nose. I'm gonna use this brown shade. And what I do is I just draw a line down where I want my contour. Look at me watching TV, like that's ridiculous. <laughs> I draw a line down the nose and then I use my fingers to really pat that color into the skin because I find that the warmth from my fingers really helps to blend it into the skin. And then to further blend it to make it look even more natural, I go in with my, one of my favorites is my Sephora Collection Contour Brush. Again, I love Sephora branded makeup. I did a full review video on it. I'll leave a link to it down below. I'll put it on the screen. Hopefully I actually remember to put it on the screen. I feel like it's not talked about and I really love it. 
I'm gonna use this Milani blush. Now I get very heavy handed with blush because I am so oily. I find that blush is the first thing to disappear on my face. But because we did the double step of priming and the powder before foundation, it should last. But I just have the bad habit of putting on a lot of blush. Of course, feel free to use a lot less blush than I do. And it looks like I'm actually hitting myself. <laughs> but I'm pushing it into the skin because I don't want the blush to budge. So I really take a lot of time with blush. Moving on, I'm gonna use this Black Up Cosmetics powder. This is more of a finishing powder to give you a nice glow. I know as an oily person, we try to stay away from glow, but because I did the powder and I did the primer, I wanted to finish off with just a little glow. So I'm gonna put that on the cheeks. This does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's very finely milled. So it's a very natural shimmer. Next up, we are going to highlight with the Anastasia Glow Kit, and I'm going to use the color Bronzed. I don't always highlight, but I wanted to add some light back to the face because when I do the powder before foundation, it gives you a very matte look, so I wanted to add some shine. So that's what I'm doing here, just adding it to the brow bone, not the brow bone, the cheekbone, the upper cheekbone area as I watch TV. I don't even know what I was watching. I think I was watching The Office. So now that we've done that, I am going to, what are we doing next? We're we doing perfume. We're gonna do perfume, but first we are going to fix our hair. So I did my eyes and everything else off camera. If you wanna see the eye look that I created, I'll leave a link to it down below. It's the Maybelline Shayla palette. So I'm gonna fix my hair. I'm going to use the Modern Muse perfume from Estee Lauder. I love this perfume and I love the packaging, very cute. It lasts all day. It smells very light, very floral. It's perfect for year round. I got some in my eyes, but it's great all the time, um, especially for summer and spring. So this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed a very natural look for me, but I felt like it all came together. This is my foundation routine when I want my makeup to last all day. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, give this video a thumbs up, check out the videos that are on the screen, and I will see you next time. Bye.